set his helmet, and I just... Uh, this is gone. This has hit him fair on the side of the helmet in a normal stance. Well, oh boy. And back onto the stumps. The question is the height, and this is all you can consider. It's gone above shoulder height and hit him about the ear. And he's going. Adam Ferrari's on his way. They've had their chat in the umpires, and they've decided. Now that's gone back onto the stumps. It's ripped the strap over. If you know you can run in in your first two balls and hit the 155 mark, you can keep laughing even if they give them all not out. Oh. AB de Villiers is out! He's hurt and he's down and he's got to go. Well, he, he can't move for the moment. He's in real strife. That is another rocket. Look at 155.4 k's. Straight into the abdomen and he's... Crippled over under the stumps. And this is going to be an awful walk-off for a man who has been hurt. And dismissed. Be must be the right hit. Yeah, right in the point of the iliac crest. Then he hits the top of off. <laughs> the stump has been hammered by the bat on the way down. They say, here we go there, you'll just see the bat coming down, bang, right on top. What a shocking feeling. They say it's a long walk for a duck here at the MCG. Anyway, let alone when you're hobbling. He was out, but he took a blow there. And I'm hoping he's all right. Followed him down the leg side, hoping that it's uh, just in the. Else. He looks alright, I think shocked more than anything else. Just for a moment it looked nasty, I thought it might have got him in the head, but I think it was a shoulder. Oh, that's hit him. And that's got onto the wicket as well, he's dismissed Peterson with a dramatic delivery. Dwayne Bravo has done it again for the West Indies, coming up with something unexpected, which not only has dismissed Peterson, but it's hurt him as well. Again, the short picture work. Oh no, that's uh, that's a good strike on the back of the neck, an unpleasant strike. Incredible bit of bowling, incredible bit of cricket, really. Look at it go. Entertaining 68 from Kevin Peterson. Happy sink. Oh, there he goes. He's gone. He can't believe it. That's gone. And there's a bit of celebration and a tackle out in the centre. The bat's come out of the hand. But he's walking. It wasn't. It was well below the waist. Now, the bat comes out of the hand. And it goes and hits. It falls on the stumps. Now, that's quite unbelievable. Very disappointing. Ah, oh, yes! What? Now, I'm going to need the replay for that. Let's see. I've seen Ridley Jacobs take catches like this, but I've never actually seen him play a stroke with the same footwork. We've seen him catch everything with that sliding footwork. And here now, suddenly the sixth wicket has gone down. 155. his wicket Ahmed Shazad is out and down as well I think he's been struck by the ball Anderson using the short ball effectively and let's hope Ahmed Shazad is okay this doesn't look good he's out but he's also in an extreme amount of discomfort Sharper bouncer this time by Corey Anderson. And it's him flush on the helmet and the bat goes on to the wicket, so he's hit wicket there, but he's in some sort of pain, lots of pain. Straight on to the helmet. Oh yeah! Oh 
straight to him. Done it again. Got another one. What's happened there? He's still on the stops. Oh, he has as well. What else can happen? It's got me confused. I thought he'd been caught. They're all celebrating, and then he walks away from the stumps, and the bales are on the ground. Can anything else go wrong? Anything? No. Oh, he hit it before. Look at Russell in the background. He's with me. Where's it gone? And where's he gone? He's walked on his wicket, Luke Ronke. He's gone for 15. It's 125 for eight. And elsewhere as to where the ball had gone. Because he's hit it. Well, it just won't go Luke uh, this way, will it, in international cricket? It's just slid. The foot slid. He hasn't stepped too far back. He's placed the foot well, but the studs just haven't gripped. Look. <laughs> That's why we were fooled. Everyone was fooled. We watch this here. The, he lets it go. Now watch his bat. Let's watch it very closely. Does he hit the stumps? He does. In fact, he was out hit wicket. That's incredible. That, that is a, a spectacular incident. Went unheeded by the square leg umpire. Chris Ocanth actually from drawing the bat, followed through with the swing of the arm and knocked the bail off. Oh, out! Inzerman's out now, too. Monty Panasar deserves that wicket. He's persevered, but quite magnificently throughout the, the afternoon, the morning, the innings, and almost humiliating for the captain of Pakistan, who's been involved in the run out of Yunus Khan and now finds himself spread eagled across the sumps in the most uncompromising and ugly dismissal you could ever see. Oh no, look at that.